games. The other flies won't let me play in their fly games because I have legs on my head. All the other kids make fun of me. It's not fair. Why do I have legs on my head? Hey Phil, my name is Dr. Melanie Gaster. I'm a scientist and I study unique flies like you. I can explain how you got legs on your head. Really? Thanks, Doc. Let's start with the basics. Do you know what a gene is? Of course. Zzz. My mom makes me special ones for the legs on my head. No, I'm talking about the genes that are in all of your cells. Genes are the blueprint for your body. This is a cell, like the ones in your body. If you look closely, you can see that all of your cells have a complete set of genes, which is contained in the chromosome. These genes can be turned on and off in different regions of the body, like flipping a light switch. For example, only leg genes are turned on in the legs, and other genes are turned off. Leg genes are turned off in the eye because they are not needed there. Eye genes would be turned on. Well, if leg genes are only supposed to be turned on in the legs, bzzz, why do I have leg genes turned on in my head? Sometimes genes are messed up. Us scientists call this a mutation. It appears that you might have a mutation in one of your homeotic genes, which are also called Hox genes. Hox genes are a special type of gene that control where body parts grow by turning certain genes on and off. These genes must be working correctly to keep everything in the right place. Antennapedia is a Hox gene that controls the growth of legs. If Antanapedia is turned on, or expressed, legs will grow. It is normally expressed on the fly's side or thorax. If the Antanapedia gene is turned on in the region of the fly's head where the antenna grow, legs will grow instead. Bzz. Well, why wouldn't I have antenna too? Leg genes are dominant to antenna genes. That means that when the leg genes get turned on on the head, antenna genes are turned off. Okay, so how did you get to know this, Doc? Well. Scientists like me have been able to conduct experiments in which the Antennapedia gene has been turned on in the heads of other flies. When they did that, those flies had legs on their head just like you. Experiments like this are how we learned about Hox genes. We've used fly gene experiments to learn more about human genes. Fruit flies like Phil are used in scientific research because they are considered to be model organisms. Fruit flies and humans may look a lot different, but have similar genes. This makes fruit flies, which are called Drosophila by scientists, a good way to study genes that apply to humans and flies. Drosophila are good model organisms because they are small and have short lifespans. This makes them convenient to keep in the lab. Here is a real life example of Antanapedia and Drosophila. The fly on the left has normal antenna, and the fly on the right is an Antanapedia mutant, like Phil. Wow! Zzz. I didn't know that flies like me could be so helpful to humans. This makes me feel so much better! That's right, Phil. You are a smart and unique little fly, and I've enjoyed teaching you about genes today. Thanks, Doc!